What's up, guys? Yashin here from Random Bound of ADSC again. With a bit of bad news. Now, uh, many of you have probably seen my first episode of Solo Play. And, uh, that was good. You might have thought it was bad. You might have thought I had really corny jokes in it. And, uh, I recorded a second video. Second episode. And, uh,. When I went to edit it and all that, uh, it had Minecraft audio. It, uh, it had my retarded voice speaking. But the, uh, the video, huh, the video was of, uh, the chat log in Final Fantasy XI. I, I don't know why I recorded that video instead of Minecraft, but it did. So, uh, yeah, I, I lost a whole, a whole episode of video. So yeah, there's there's not really gonna be a second episode. Uh this is sort of the replacement second episode. But uh I'll give you the rundown on sort of what happened in uh episode two. I'm uh here in my test kingdom in single player mode and uh I'll show you what happened. Basically in the game Found a bunch of coal. Found a bunch of iron. Found a bunch of gold, which was surprising because it was behind the iron. I broke a lot of stone. Get a lot of cobblestone. I got a bunch of dirt. Because we all need dirt. I got a bit of gravel. In the meantime, I went out and I mm. killed myself a bunch of moors get myself some steak because you know need that food and of course in the episode I said a bunch of bad jokes don't worry you really didn't miss much near the end I made myself a shitty house well I'm more I kind of just put cobblestone around the uh, the cave which I was in you know wasn't much, but it was something. And then I made myself these three items. From the gold I mined, I made myself a gold helmet, like Chrono Trigger. And like my joke had said, I could then go to the Great Bridge and go across it to fight that skeleton bitch. And from all the cows I killed, I took their leather and I made myself a leather tunic. And from the iron I got, I made myself some iron kicks. And, yeah, if only I had some diamond pants, I would have looked absolutely awful. Anyways, probably thinking, is that it? Well, that's more or less the rundown on what happened. 30 minutes of me being an idiot, finding coal, iron, gold, getting more cobblestone, getting more dirt, getting more gravel. Killing a bunch of moors. Turning those moors delicious, delicious flesh into steak. The bad jokes. The house renovation. And then the three items. Now you're probably going, come on, that can't be it. Well, that's, that's basically it. But I don't want to let you guys down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you to, uh, to the world I made. On the server, not saying where, because the last thing Mars and I need is for a bunch of you guys joining us while we're recording an episode, even though we set to private. Anyways, I'll bring us over there. I'll I'll show you my server, and I'll I'll let you see my world. Let me show you the world. You know, I'm not gonna start singing Aladdin. Anyways, I will see you guys there. And here we are in my place. Yay. Yay. That's glowstone, by the way. Yes, as it says, welcome. Follow the arrow. Now this is, when you initially spawn in here, you'll spawn in here. We'll go out. And, uh, I don't feel like swimming. So we'll go up these convenient dirt stairs 
There's a zombie. There's a skeleton. There's another skeleton. But I'm not worried because for some reason I still left myself in creative mode. Oh, and there's a creeper. Sweet. There's a chicken in the water. Err, uh, you selfie you bastard. There's an egg. Hmm. Hmm. How did it not die? Enderman! And they walked away, of course. Okay. What the crap? Oh, they're all drowning. And of course, I did not set myself to busy. Yay! People on Skype, leave me alone, I'm making an episode. Alright, follow the arrow, you come to here. You're probably going, damn, because yeah, I built that all by myself. Mars was of no help. And then we go up here, and then we go up here. Pop that. Come in and okay, I do have one here. Get in the minecart! Hit the button. Go! Now I made this tunnel out of obsidian. Just so I don't know. I just did. It looked cool. And we're still traveling. And we're still traveling. It's it's a bit of a travel. To get up to the uh, starter city, as I call it. And here we are. Bam! Hop out. Welcome home. Imagine that. Chest here with starting goodies. Pay no attention to my inventory. Thank you. And then we go into here. And I built all of this by myself. Now. You walk up to the town square. Yeah, I got a couple iron golems in here. It keeps out any riffraffs that just happen to spawn in here. There's a map. Looks pretty shitty. Don't ask about the two green arrows. Anyways, this <laughs> this is Mars's house. Look how shitty his house is. Look how bad this is. It's got wheat growing up there. A bed outside. I put that there from never took it. And this is oh. Mars, didn't you have chickens in here? <laughs> Cue the creepy music as I noticed nothing around. Yeah, it seems about right. Now let's climb that crap out of there. I know it could be flying right now, but uh he also didn't clear his damn yard. And over here, we've got my brother's house. This looks pretty shitty too. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, uh. Nope, watch that. Fly! I hear a spider. Okay, now we're flying. Screw it. Alright, yeah, and there's his house. Trees on top for some bloody reason. And then we come over here, and we've, of course we have mine. Now, in case you were wondering, no houses were built in creative mode. This was all mine by ourselves in survival mode. I just put myself into creative mode so I could build stuff like new islands. That's my, I don't know, marker. Now, if you come over here, hit this, go through this door, and you've got yourself a little walkie. Walkie way here. Walka walka. I'll show you the rest. Pay no attention to that rainbow you just saw. Another map. 
little more updated. Probably looks weird, doesn't it? Go up the stairs, which I have yet to refine. Got this dark and dreary path here. Let's go walk this way. Look at that. Obsidian and nether brick. This can't be good. And you know what? You'd be right. Because as you can sort of see it looming on the distance. Sort of. It's a lot of glass. It's a big obsidian hill. How are we thinking? What good is that? Ender chest. We've all got one. Every house has an ender chest. Beds. And trees, just because you Whatever. Come through here. Stone swords. More stone swords. Still don't pay attention to me. Here and it's all dark. Hey, some XP right there. It's weird. Yeah. Probably dark as piss, so you guys can't see. But anyways, we're gonna go down this hole here and come out to an area filled with lava. What could this possibly be? This is a PvP area that I created. This is actually the Battle Tower, as I named it. You got the uh, thing over there and a thing over there, both spitting lava. It's pretty cool, doesn't it? And you got this uh, walkway around the lava. Only kind of screwed it up because it was supposed to be lot the bottom floor being lava and then a block above. So if you fell in, you just burned. But if you fell in, Sink, but you can always get back out. It could also be a good thing, I don't know. Well, this is the bottom floor of it. And yes, if you're wondering, I'll repeat myself, I made all this myself, because Mars was of no help. Nor was my brother. I invite him into here to be like, hey, help me build shit. He goes, okay. And he builds his own house. So, you know, screw you. And let's fly. Woo, fly. You'll see, there's ladders on each side. Is this? Yes, sorry. Let's chug the wall right here. Alright, now we can see. Bunch of little lily pads. Ladders on each side. Go up this one. And hey, look at that, there's mobs in here. There's more ladders. Go up there. And, come on. On this floor, though. Huh, usually is. Usually creepers on this floor. Zombies. And go up here, and there's a nether portal. Now, I'm not gonna go through the nether portal, because Mars and I had attempted to do a uh, tower run a couple times. We get through the tower alright, and as soon as we went through the portal, there was a bunch of zombies and skeletons on the other side with weapons. Not not zombie pigmen. I know what you're thinking. They weren't zombie pigmen. They were skeletons and zombies that had walked through it. We both didn't know that they could use the portal like that, but they did. And the moment we walked through, they ganked our asses. So, yeah. Anyways, and there's creepy music again. We shall go back down, drop all the way down into the water. And climb back out. And run through that door, run through that door. You're probably thinking I go through the door is weird. It's just the way so I can actually get through. And look at that. There's a big rainbow tower thingy. You're probably thinking, what the hell? There's, there's, there's a reason to that. There's a reason to that. I'll show you. I'm just walking. I'm not running. I'm just walking. Okay, now we'll go to the second path. With that one. And look at that, hey, it's like a wooden bridge now. It's like, yay. Rainbow. 
We'll get to that in a second, though. I want to show you this other spot over here. Ugh, run. I still haven't finished the bottom of it, so don't give me grief, guys. Who knows, maybe one day you'll play on this and you'll be like, awesome. Anyways, this... This, this is an NPC village that I made. And you'll see the, uh, that guy's fucking sheep. These are villagers, just with the Zelda texture pack skins, though. As you can see, ah, seven emeralds for diamond boots. What does this guy have? Hey, get back here. What do you got? Ugh, that's even worse. What does this guy got? Well, books for an emerald, I can remember that. Anyways, you got the skins of an old man, Goron, Zora, and, uh, oh yeah, palace guards and Deku people. What you got? Eight gold for an emerald. Is that worth it? What the hell are you looking at? Now, all this I had built myself. Each house. As leg, because I still haven't checked my message to the person that's talking to me on Skype. Each house has beds, so the uh, villagers can screw, and I can have more villagers up here. There's some moo cows, some cluck clucks, some iron golems, obviously, and then you got some gardens. You got your wheat there, and you got your pumpkin and watermelon there. It's not bad. It took me a bit to make it. You got the stupid ass chickens that always get stuck in there. It's like the, the fountain in the middle of nowhere. Mobs still spawn in here for some reason, so I gotta fix that. It's just the lighting issue. Okay, now we'll go over to this rainbow tower. You'll probably see white stuff coming off of it. We'll get to that. Now, as, as I use a uh, Zelda texture pack, throughout this area, I've hidden, uh, I've hidden chests with different gear and whatnot in it. And if the others were smart enough to look for it, they could find some really cool stuff. I'm not saying where it is, because in all honesty, I've sort of forgotten, because you know, made it a while ago. Anyways, this, you'll see there's four beds, three beds. I can count. Three beds, three chests. You, know, you store your stuff, you set your save point. Then you look. Ah, oh, stupid clouds. Ah, oh, damn it. Okay. <laughs> now you see there's, uh, there's four holes. Well, there's, there's more than four holes, I know. I'm not counting the middle. But I'm talking about top left, top right, bottom left, bottom right. The, the different size holes. I was thinking, what is that for? Now, if you can imagine with me just falling there, it's actually, it's a game, you know? It's a uh, high dive. Ah, damn it. Missed the hole. It's like every guy's problem. Uh, all right, uh, that. So maybe I get to, oh, uh, uh, oh, nope, I would have died. Like I did many times with testing it. Anyways, if you manage to get through, you can climb back up. All the way back up. And you notice how I've got glowstone around it, so uh, mobs don't spawn in it. It's got every color of wool, and as you'll see right here, I screwed up my head too light. Oh well. And we're climbing up, we're climbing up. You'll also notice that uh, there's a cloud right there that I'm going through. So it's pretty high up. But it's not the highest thing, because as you'll see there, is white stuff. No, not Oreo cookie filling. Now this, this is a little tricky to get to. Now, I don't think I put ladders. Oh, I did put a ladder there. Huh. So I was smart. It's, it's been a while since I've been in this world, you know. Give me a break. Climb down it. On to here. Now this is where the fun part happens. Now we can do some. Damn it! That one always gets me. 
Now we can do some platforming. Damn it! Screw it. I'm just gonna go back a bit. And you can see as it kind of climbs its way up. Pretty high up. It's like really high up. And you'll probably see what just happened to form. Now, I'll admit it. I'm a Nintendo fan. And, yeah, this is Rainbow Road, recreated brick for brick, all block for block. I've uh, been working on a minecart system on it to go around. You'll see that on every yellow it's got powered. Corners are a little different, though. Oh, we're going backwards. No, wrong way. Ah, damn it. Okay, we'll go backwards. We're doing mirror track, damn it. So we'll go around it a bit. See how it is. I was thinking about making this sort of like a battle track. Jeez. It, it took me a while to uh, build this, so I, I don't want to damage it. Finally, that potion wears. What I like about how high it is, this is the actual maximum uh, build distance. It's at, uh, what I'm sitting on is block 255, so it doesn't get any higher than this. And you also see that it's all nicely lit up, although the occasional mob will still spawn up here. And at night, it looks amazing, because you don't see anything else, you just see stars. And much like Rainbow Road, all you see is stars. We got the uh, checkered line over here. I'm still working on a system. Yeah, you can see there's a zombie down there. I'm still working on a system to have it as a, a lap type thing. It stops at a certain point. Anyways, that's Rainbow Road. And that's, uh, the minecart will keep going pretty much forever. And that's, uh, it's pretty much my server. Mars and I play on it occasionally. Although we mostly play on his, because we do recordings on his. We'll do recording on mine eventually. Oh, we got this chest. Oh, yeah, mine hurts. We got skeletons. Get out of here. 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 Alright, and I saw a creeper somewhere. Let's go knock him off. Yeah, you can see the top of the uh, rainbow tower right there, but as you can see, it's nothing but black. It really adds to the uh, rainbow road-esque feeling. Ah, damn it, and I fell. Anyways, guys, that will be it for me. Uh, yet again, sorry about episode 2. Episode 3 will be coming out soon, though. I've checked it. Episode 3, 4, and 5. Because as of right now, I've recorded up to episode 5. I might do 6 later today. Who knows? I'll take the solo plays. Solo plays. But uh, episode 2 won't happen. Episode 3, 4, and 5. The video is all Minecraft. Audio is all Minecraft and my horrible jokes. Anyways, guys. Thanks for watching. And we will see you next time.